Hello and welcome to UKEstate.com tutorial on how to use your property content manager um, to manage your property details both locally at your office and on your website. So um, I'm just going to quickly show you one or two little things. First of all you will need to log in. Uh, you will obviously need some property details. Uh, we've got some images here, these four images, that one there and there are uh, going to be used in this demonstration and some property details that I've uh, added to a word processor so I'm just going to run those and these are not genuine property details they are made up and uh, Sample Avenue in Billinghurst doesn't exist this postcode here uh, we've chosen a postcode that does work because this is important, it generates a map that are included in the property details and so I just wanted you to see how that works. Um, <clears throat> and so just put those out of the way for the moment and close that and we'll get logged in. So we'll give you a, a URL, a web address for you to log in. So we're going to log in as your know, blogs. Joe Blogs obviously has a password. So right away we'll just go click add and we'll go back to our word processor and you can see the uh, first field in your content manager in the property content manager is your address field followed by your postcode, reference number, price and you've got some other fields for your preview description, full description, moving down um, you can see that you can select how many bedrooms and which office it's uh, being marketed from and it's kind of self-explanatory so that's basically the uh, the database so first field is the address so we copy the address we cut and paste that and uh, we're gonna basically Take the postcard, cut that, paste that into there, and go back over here, got a reference number, paste that in, and the price, we've got preview description or brief details. And cut and paste those. Then we've got the rest of the details. And we'll cut and paste those. We just want to tidy this up a little bit. There's a couple of lines spacing that out. It's got the number of bedrooms. I know it's three. It's going to be from the billing Hearst office. The status is for sale. And the location is Billinghurst again. So I'll just take the word Billinghurst. Go and paste that. And the property type is a for sale again. That could be lettings or it could be commercial. Um, the difference between the status is that the status can be manually edited, whereas this is in a, um, a drop down menu. The idea here is that you can change that to things like sold subject to contract or, or let or um, under offer etc etc so whatever suits your needs whereas this is um, basically pre-selected for you and the feature property is a property that would be displayed on a special page like your home page or something like that but we're not going to use that facility for this particular um, property and then we're going to go and add some images so we just click add images and we need to uh, browse to where those images are on your computer on my computer on the, in the, on the desktop in a folder called sample property and there's image 1 and image 2 3 and 4 there you go so we click upload and that will now upload those images from my computer onto the web server. 
and this wants to be uh, front view. And sitting room, followed by kitchen, and then bedroom. Voila, click save. Okay, once you've saved that, um, it will bring you back to uh, the property manager page. And you basically select order of the images that you want them to display. Now this is important, you have to do this, otherwise the images just simply don't display. The first image, image number one, which is front view, will also be in the thumbnail image in the property details in the search results. So um, we go now and click save. And that property will now be online. It's certainly visible is the status which means it's on the website. So I'm going to show you our property on the website now. So you go to our um, home page ukestate.com services just click the free trial and on the free trial page there's this search engine and you can click different prices etc but I know there's only one property in Billinghurst office um, so I'm just going to select Billinghurst from there click search and there's the property and then there is £210,000 click that and here's the full set of property details there's the map that I mentioned and uh, this map's provided by Google and it works off the code that's embedded from the postcode. Let's uh, say you just want to modify some of this information. Um, when you log in again, um, you click modify and let's say the price of the property has been adjusted, reduced to £300,000. You just select that, click save, or change that and click save. And now when you refresh this property detail, which is showing £310,000, now it shows £300,000. And it's that quick and that simple. But let's say you want to, um, for whatever reason, take that property off your website but keep it on your database in your office so you just select this checkbox here select that, don't display this property click save and now when you go back to the website click refresh it's not there and the status has now changed to hidden okay so now let's say you want to um, Add this property back onto your website. You just click modify. You just uncheck that. And you just click save. Now, refresh. And you can see the property is there listed again. And available for everyone to see. Um, and it's that simple. And that easy to use. So, um, if you want to delete the property completely, that's easy enough. You just click erase click delete, it's gone. The difference between hiding it and deleting it is that once you've deleted it completely, it's no longer either in your database or on your website. I hope this has uh, helped you understand how simple and easy the UK State Online Property Manager software is to use. If you want to test drive it, um, basically you go to our website uh, which is uh, ukstate.com click contact us and send us an email message or our phone number is displayed on here you can contact us directly and we'll set you up a, a user login for you to start testing the software it's a free demo there's no fees to pay and there's no commitment on your behalf uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, tutorial this demonstration and Look forward to hearing from you in the future.